the moment we're here in Kosciuszko, uh, in the wilderness area, uh, at a crabby frog's nest trying to dig out uh, crabby frog eggs. Um, crabby frogs, at this year there's only about 16, 17 calling males left in the wild. Um, and so we're going around to their nest now to collect the eggs to bring them into Taronga Zoo for safekeeping. Uh, we'll keep them there for a couple of months, just uh, during this stage in the wild where nests could flood and, and cause high egg mortality. This year in particular, if we left the eggs here, uh, it's almost certain that there'd be exceptionally high egg mortality in the wild just due to the flooding. So by bringing them into Taronga Zoo, at least we can, hopefully, some of these eggs will still be okay. Uh, and then we can keep them there for safekeeping throughout their development until they're ready to hatch and we can bring them back out. 20 to 30 years ago, up here in Kosciuszko, around the, the Svaglenbog areas, there would have been hundreds of thousands of corroboree frogs. The call of males would have been deafening in these bogs. Now, at the current state of this, uh, we've got to fly to a very remote area just to see three of them. In, in the wild this year, there's only about 15 to 16 male corroboree frogs left in the wild. The frog declines in recent decades has, has largely been termed the sixth mass extinction event, uh, the largest extinction event since the dinosaurs. The thing causing the corroboree frogs uh, to decline is an introduced pathogen, a, a disease caused by chytrid fungus. Uh, which is an introduced fungus, introduced from, uh, we believe, Southern Africa, and hit Australia in the, the mid-70s and started causing fr frog declines and extinctions uh, from then on. We've lost at least, at least fr six frog species in Australia, uh, and, and there's a lot more like this species here and a number of other species in Queensland that are really teetering on the brink of extinction at the moment. If we were to pull out of this program and, and uh, leave them to their own devices, they'd almost certainly be extinct within the next five to ten years. We have about 350 frogs at Taronga Zoo alone uh, and our partners in the program are also the Amphibian Research Centre in Zoo Victoria. So between the institutions hopefully we can breed uh, enough frogs over the years that uh, we can produce higher egg numbers, we can reintroduce them back into the wild and keep them out here long enough to develop a resistance to the fungus.